Good morning everyone, it is Cyberverse and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and the reason why I'm saying good morning is because it is 8.30 right here and we're gonna be doing some Dr. Terror. Now earlier today I already recorded Hammerman HQ level 60 takedown, we took him down like a boss. I'm not going to show it off to you guys, but uh, we took it out like a boss. And this is a really, really interesting episode. I think you guys are going to be liking that. And that's going to be getting released after this video. Because obviously Dr. Terror is going to be somewhat of a guideline. And uh, Tenton Hammer just took down Terror, uh, which is Critter. So let's actually go ahead and try that out myself. Because as we already know, Dr. Terror has been landed. This is going to be serving as a reference guide for you guys. To see if you are going to be able to take down Terror yourself. So... Let's start off by dropping some critter action here at the HQ. Uh, right now my critters are level 2. That means that we're getting um, 7 critters per critter box. Which I very much like. And as you guys can see we're going to be taking this out like a boss. Let's actually s drop some warriors here. Do some additional damage onto the to the HQ just like that. But as you guys can see, critters versus Dr. Terror just like that. And the artillery cannot r even arrive in time. Because the base is already exploding. Uh, oh, yeah, I should probably start up by boosting up some of my resource statues. Or as a matter of fact, I don't really think I need any of that. Because I am currently upgrading my armory. And that's going to take a while. So I'm not going to even be boosting that one up. By the way, my laser beam is here. So if I get attacked, I'm able to show you guys how this is going to be going. So did I get attacked? Home base raided. I'm going to... Oh, here too. So I'm gonna uh, show you guys a little episode. Uh, maybe today, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, about the uh, about the laser beam because I had enough resources to uh, to to actually get that. So uh, pretty cool. All right, we're gonna be advancing on to the next terror stage. We're gonna be doing some terror stage number two, and we're gonna be dropping some artillery. Let me see. Some artillery here. Getting those two buildings over there. Uh, boom. Oh, wow. This went even more smooth than Terror Stage number one. That is insane. Let's drop some warriors here then. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're getting back. We cannot do anything. And we got ourselves a little shard there too. Very nice stuff there. I gotta say. It's gonna be a great run. I'm going to try to do this unboosted. So it should be good fun, right? Okay, let's actually go ahead and drop this right here. And... Um, do some damage there. Getting rid of these buildings over here. There. And once more. And then we're just going to go ahead and drop the units just like a boss. And as you guys can see, we are going to be taking out this base relatively easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a couple of warriors at the right side so they can play around. And let's just see. Let's keep an eye on to the HQ. See how much damage we're going to be doing. Onto the HQ. And if I lose a warrior here now. That's going to be upsetting. But I don't think I will. Because um, the uh, the warriors will be outrunning the mortars. At the right side there. So they should be getting. Oh there you go. There you go. Let's uh, actually go ahead and drop a barrage. Onto the HQ just like that. Taking it out like a boss. There you go. Therese stage number 3. Completed. Wow the barrage is hitting my own units. Actually 3 of them survived luckily. Not that it matters or anything like that. So, we're going to be advancing on to Terror Station number 4. And, um, oh, look at this. It's very empty here at the right side. Uh, is there anything? No, there's not. So, I'm going to be dropping a barrage onto this shock launcher. Getting rid of that. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay, Great. Now, how do we go from here? Um, I think we can just drop this right there. Then do the good old smoke, smoker, smokerama. Get in there. I want to try to not get any casualties. It might be tough here. It also depends on how they're going to be walking. It seems that the damaged warriors are going to be a little bit behind. Nope. They're not going to be hitting those mines. That's pretty cool. And... Did I lose any? No, I did not. Great. Okay. Awesome. Exactly how I wanted it to be. So, I'm satisfied in that regard. Let's go ahead and drop one, two, three. And 
Oh, I lost one warrior. I lost one warrior. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was kind of like about to die anyway, so I couldn't do anything about that. But, you know, we're doing just fine. Um, I'm going to be doing, I don't know if you guys watched the last video. Like, some people watch very specific videos. But what I'm going to be doing, um, starting, I think the moment I come back from Finland, is I'm going to be doing some speedruns on Dr. Terror. Try to take down, for, for example, uh, speedruns on Island Edition Dr. Terror. Because that is the easier version. Oh my god, look at these shock launches here. Um, so I actually intend to do some speedruns on Dr. Terror, trying to take it down as fast as I can. Uh, but the, by the time, uh, or when the timing comes that I'm actually maxing out my warriors, I'm gonna be challenging the other YouTubers to, uh, to a race. To see who can take it down on Dr. Terror, who can take down Dr. Terror the fastest. To see who's going to be the official Boom Beach Dr. Terror champion. Like, we can actually make that an annual reward, like, no matter how big you are as a YouTuber, you can always participate. Or, if you guys would like me to uh, to ask us a couple of YouTubers specifically, I can always do that. I'm in contact with the guys, so, you know. I think it would be good fun to watch something like that, you know. I think it would be entertaining to, to watch something like that. Oh, I was still, de I was still busy deploying, uh, dropping uh, the, the, the artilleries, but uh, it was already gone. <laughs> Funny. Oh, yes, look at this. We got ourselves a complex gear. That's very nice. So, I have myself... Um, let me actually see here. I have myself uh, four complex gears. And I built myself the laser beam. I like how they how they wrote this as laser. Not, not laser. Laser. I'd be firing my lasers. Pew, pew. Terror stage number... Oh, six already. Wow, this goes by fast. So, um... I, th I think I need three shocks here. The first shock is going to be, uh, obviously, the shock launch over here. The second shock is going to be here at the left side. And the third shock is going to be the right side revolving around the shock launcher and both the machine gun and the uh, flamethrower. I was looking for the name. I'm going to be dropping a barrage here, getting rid of the boom mines, getting a lot of supplies there. So, essentially, I only lost one energy. Great investment. Great, great investment. Okay, so I'm kind of figuring out how I should go around doing this one. I think I should be going to the machine gun. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, no. That goes my... Essentially, I could have done the same thing with just two smokes. I should have um, made sure that the third smoke was going to be a little bit wider than what it already was but you know you cannot do anything about that that's just the way the cookie crumbles but you know it's just the way it is it's just the way it is okay so three shocks so um getting ready for the action there we go 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 um now let's drop some critters instead let's get this party over here there we go Finishing it up just like that. We're in great condition moving on to terror stage number seven I noticed that terror stage number one to terror stage number seven, uh, six are a breeze like literally uh, I got myself a crystal that was guaranteed So that's why I didn't get any reaction <laughs> Didn't give any reaction No single care was given. Okay, here we go terror stage number um, Hold up. I want to scout <coughs> Terror stage number seven. Let's do this. Okay, so um, what I want to be shocking here is going to be um, this little area, getting those buildings. So I want to be trying to drop a shock onto the sniper tower's little stone at the bottom here of this one. So that way I, I'm probably, yeah, if I drop one there, I'm going to be able to get all of the machine guns and of course the shock launcher without hitting my own troops. The second shock launcher is, uh, shock is going to be getting these two buildings over there. And the third one is going to be hitting the rocket launcher, the mortars, and of course the shock launcher as well. And I think with that we might be able to take down this Dr. Terror. It's, it's still a might because um, I'm not sure. But uh, let's give this one a go, see how well we're going to be doing here. And I want to be starting off this one 
by dropping a barrage here because we're gonna go to um we're gonna go to where do we go <laughs> that doesn't really sound convincing now does it uh give me some moment here to think about how i'm gonna be walking i think i have a plan as how far this plan is going to be working out. Got no idea, but uh, I got a plan. I think the first checkpoint should be the machine gun. The second checkpoint should be the shock launcher. And then go up to the HQ. Because there's somewhat of a dif uh, distance here. Between the shock and the HQ. So. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I did do it again. Well, this time around I did it right. Look at this. This is beautiful. They're all covered into the smoke. So... I will forgive myself for that at least. Ooh, no! I just lost a pretty big force there. I sh Yeah, this will be a question. I'm not sure. I didn't get the uh, rocket launcher. And I got no... Nothing to save me here, so this is it. If I don't take it down here, this might be very much trouble. Oh, yikes. Ooh, didn't even take it down halfway. That's a little bit unfortunate. I did people. I did see people taking down the last Volcano of Dr. Terror with, um, I think it was uh, medics. No, not medics. Uh, tanks and um, medics. And I think it was one landing craft of heavies or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. But um, it seems that we're going to have to boost up something here. So I'm saying gunboat energy. Or I was thinking gunboat energy and troop damage. But what I could also do. Now I think I'm going to be needing this gunboat energy. Gunboat energy can never go wrong here. And what do you say we're going to be doing some troop damage here. Boosting two things up. I'm not uh, like... Obviously, I'm not going to be making it into one shot here. I think I did pretty nice. I mean, I took down every single stage without having everything boosted up. With the, exem with the exception of Terror Station at number 7. So, I, I think I can give myself a little pat on the back there. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. I am... I'm happy with this. Great, great way of doing this. Now, this little right side over there is... I, I don't like it. Why do I keep messing up there, man? Why do I keep messing up there? Dropping the med kit early because um, of some damages that we've been getting here. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So we made it up to the final checkpoint here, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing, although I don't have a real great deal of faith into how we're going to be performing, but let's just see how this one's going to be going. Let's drop the med kits. Two of them, actually. And, yeah, it seems to me that we're not going to be able to do this because I lost so much force um, just now in that, in that one attack. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give this one more try and then we're gonna be uh, boosting up uh, one more statue. So, um, let me rephrase this. Let me just rethink my strategy here. So, what I've been doing up to this point is I went to this machine gun. I, I got rid of a bunch of other stuff. But what if we take a different route? What if we just drop a barrage here, get the supplies... And then, I think I can take this one out, actually. Oh, no, I cannot do that. I thought I had the ability to take it down for some weird reason or something. I just got overconfident, I suppose. So, once again, taking this out. Doing some damage onto that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take down that uh, the rocket launcher. So instead of, of doing the usual way, what if I make my way up to the machine gun at the back there? 
That gives me a straight line to the HQ. I think I, I would be more safe there. We can always, you know, we can always try. So let's try. Oh, no, 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 no. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think about this. Sorry if I got myself a little bit silent here. I was kind of focusing. Uh, I forgot to shock everything. <sighs> wow, that is an issue. Oh. Okay. So... Yeah, I forgot. The, I forgot about these machine gun over here. Some of you guys must be like, "Raf, did you seriously just find out like a, a second ago?" Yeah, I just literally did find out a second ago. Here we go, full power, you guys, full power, taking out this Doctor Terror stage. Uh, you know, after taking Doctor Terror down a couple of times. I suppose I got a little bit overconfident when it comes down to Dr. Terror, thinking I was going to be able to take it down always really easily. Doesn't seem like that is the, the, that is the, the way, because my warriors are right now level 17, they're not maxed out. So that is something I should probably take into consideration, something that I haven't up to this point. So I apologize if I gave you some cringe-worthy attempts on taking down this Dr. Terror, because that is not my intention. I just want to show you guys the maps before you guys will be having your go at Dr. Terror. So, without any further ado, let's hopefully make our way up to the HQ in a decent manner instead of what I've been showing you guys so far. So that is the official way of how to do it. Now, of course, you're going to be getting hit by the mine, but we need to drop four shocks. It's something that I just figured out with my stupid head. So let's drop four shocks here. One, two, three, four. Now we got no mad kits, but that's gonna be okay. We do have this. Oh, and then we do have a mad kit. Let's drop it. Yes, and there we go. Terror stage number seven done and over. If I would have just paid attention to these two machine guns over there, right off the get go, I think we would have been taking it out a little bit better than the way we have been doing it right now. But we are leaving on a positive note. We did boost it up. Which I don't mind because we're going. That is essentially one crystal. Essentially, is one power powder. So I think I did well in that regard. And I mean, I'm going to be clearing up the base anyway. Boosting up all of my statues is more convenient, uh, or something like that. But yeah, I'm just going to be clearing out the ma the map like I usually do. And I'm going to be meeting you guys back again next episode. Going to be Lieutenant Hammerman, which you cannot see on the map anymore. I already took him down with Noah's Ark. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse of Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.